Hi, hello, welcome back. In the last video, we have seen how we can install the SCCM Lab on Azure. So now in this video, I'm going to see how you can install a SCCM Lab on Hyper-V. If you have a good configuration on your machine, that uh, you can easily configure it. So we have this uh, link that I will be providing you on the description of this section of this video. So uh, over here you will find two link one is to download the zip file that will be having the entire uh, lab environment and the second is the lab guide so the lab guide will uh, provide you the instructions how you can install the uh, the lab and also it will be having the setup guide uh, that will help you to configuring the lab and the lab guide will help you to perform the certain activity in the right manner uh, out of I mean it will give you the out of box of uh, experience and uh, so you have to just click on these link so it will open this will give you a new this will open a new uh, link on the page just click on download it and you have to download both the uh, both the link and both the uh, you have to download the both uh, both the zip file so that you can follow the instructions I have already downloaded it for you so I'm going to extract these folders and we'll see what's there in the lab guide you will find the uh, instructions that how you can configure it so if I show you that uh, not on the lab guide on the uh, setup guide you will finding the sub important information that what is the instruction some important information like introduction uh, hardware and software requirement Hyper-V because it will be installing on Hyper-V so it will enable you to have, enable the Hyper-V also it will require certain uh, virtual switch that you need to be created so that information will be available here and the lab guide username and password will also be given into uh, into this document so you will be the, the username and password that you will be getting is like this it will be local administrator password password is the password administrator and the password is p at the rate sswrd and the domain password is corp slash lab admin so the machine when you logged in uh, when it will uh, configured so it will join to the domain and to use the domain you have to use the corp slash lab admin to, to do it and uh, apart from this let's quickly jump into the uh, lab extraction and then what we will do we will be configuring the lab So I have extracted the, the lab and uh, you will find three files over here. One is the setup file and second is the, the lab guide zpack file and the another word would be like this is the zpack file. Now uh, I have already installed the Hyper-V on my machine. So if you don't have a Hyper-V on your machine, what you can do, you can actually install it from over here. You have to just click it on Hyper-V and reboot your machine after that it's an installation and you can do it. Now uh, once the Hyper-V is installed you have to make uh, some additional settings that is you have to make a uh, you have to add an adapter external adapter so that it can communicate to the internet. So what I'm doing I have I think I have already added it so I will go to the switch manager and you will see I have uh, this external con connection already added. So what I will do now, uh, I am going to set up the file, just need to right click on the setup and uh, click yes, you have to click 
click on next it has actually identified the external adapters now it it gonna take around 15 to 20 minutes approx uh, to do the uh, to install the lab and do the predict so we will wait for 15 20 minutes and we'll will back once the installation is completed So you can see now the provisioning has been completed. So now it is going to import the the virtual machines into the Hyper-V. And once the import is completed, we are gonna open Hyper-V and see uh, how it look like, and we'll try to log in into the one of the virtual machine. So it is also showing uh, what all virtual machine that it is going to import. That it is going to import CM1, DC, Gateway, one of the client machine and uh, client 6 and so on. So now the import is completed. Uh, what we are going to do, we are going to open the Hyper-V. And as soon you open the Hyper-V, you will find the machines that are that are got imported. And so I will turn off these client machines because these are not required at the moment. So uh, now you will find three machines running one is the gateway GW1 is the gateway machine from where the internet will work for you DC1 is the domain controller and SC, C, sorry, CM01 is the SCCM machine so let's connect to the SCCM machine and check if everything is there or not now uh, if you remember on the lab script on the lab guide I have shown you the username and password the password will be corp slash lab admin and the password would be p at the rate ss0rd so let's see okay it has already shown that what is the uh, domain and the username so let's try we added it sswrd as a password and let's see if we can now let's go to the start button and see if we have the SCCM installed. Yeah, we have the SCCM server there. Also, this lab guide has is uh, this also uh, this lab is the evaluation version. So the license would be available for 160 or 158 days. 
so there is a limited time period that it will be available so after these days 158 days the license will the, the lab get expired for you So now it's trying to connect to the SCHQ cm.corp.contosa.com that's the headquarter name of the this primary site this is the site server name of this primary site so now you can see that SCCM is available and if I go to the administration and if I go to site hierarchy not on the site hierarchy on the site configuration you will find that uh, it is a single site server primary server and this is the name of the server so in the next video we will be enabling the discovery methods and we'll see how what are the discovery methods and how to enable it and step by step we will uh, follow uh, and we will do the practical of every single thing so that uh, this complete series can be completed in 2024 thank you so much for watching this video if you have if you are new to this channel please like and subscribe thank you so much bye bye